Another Arvo session in Moreton Bay. Can't pass this weather up, to be honest. Um, you've got these sort of southwesterlies in the morning. It's pretty cold, probably blowing 10 knots. And then uh, around lunchtime, that wind drops right off to a couple of knots and um, nice and warm. So a great time to go out. Yeah, check these conditions out, guys. All right, gonna make the most of it. Gonna punch it out there and see what we can do. Pikasaurus, very undesirable species. Come on. No, it's another pike. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a better fish. Oh, what have we got here? Nice sweet look. Nice grassy sweet lip. Beautiful little grassy. Put him on the measure, see what he goes. Probably won't keep him, but be interesting to see if he's legal or not. Yeah, he's legal. He's a 32 centimeter grassy. I've got plenty of fish, so I'll just pop him back in. But they're great eating fish, these grassies. Better than snapper, in my opinion. He's eating that two, uh, that three point five inch curly tail grub there. On a little t, t on a little uh, one six dial with jig head. All right, let's pop him back in. Off he goes. Let's see if we can do that again. So I'm just casting along the the edge of the drop off here. So I'm sitting in six meters of water, and it comes up pretty sharp. See the color change where it goes to a darker brown color. I'm just try and hit right on the edge of that basically. Going too deep and snag up for sure. Current's coming onto this uh, bank, so I'm hoping that the, the fish is sitting out the front of it waiting for bait stuff to get pushed onto it. Besides that grassy, there's not a lot going on as of yet. A few picus sauruses, the old refurman pike. There's another better fish. 
this feels a bit different again. I don't think it's grassy unless it's really, oh, uh, could be. Yeah, nearly grassy. Probably a touch smaller, just under size, I'd imagine. Bit of fun. See grassy? For this size, they're exceptional fighters, the old grass sweet loop. You get one around 400, you definitely know about it. So close to the reef like this, you've got very little time to react. Something grabbed it there. Yeah, good fish. Oh! <laughs> good fish got me in. Oh, my lead is so short. I can't fish it anymore. Time for a retie. All right, revenge time. Got a bit heavier leader now. Got 12 pound lead up. Hopefully it should be enough to keep us uh, connected to one of these slightly bigger fish. Yep, got it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Another sweet lip I reckon. Jeez, that pulled good. <laughs> Here's another one like that first one, I think. Come on, fella. Oh, he's having a bit of a peek. Okay, let's pop him on the measure. I think it's another legal fish. Well, I'm probably gonna re regret letting these go. <laughs> All right, another fish around 32. We're probably getting a nice feed together now, but oh well. We're having a bit of fun. Off he goes. Let's catch some more. It's a real tricky bit where you've got to get it kind of in the structure, but you want to, don't want to go too deep, you're snagging up losing too much gear. And then when you hook up, you've got to get them out or else they're straight back in like that one before. Yep, another one, another good one. Try and keep it up out of the... They just keep looking for the bottom all the way in. Oh, this one's a squire, all right. All right. So we've gone through the sweet lip phase into snapper phase. Little snapper there, 
not big, probably just legal or just below legal. Whack him on the measure. He's, he's just under legal size. He's about 34 centimeters. Looks like he's spying me pretty good. Well done. Good fish, great fish. Great fish. Oh, wow. This is a hectic battle. Good snapper, I think. Yeah, good snapper. This is a really good fish for the reef edges fish. That's cool. Nice fish. Nice fish. Get the net out for that one. Got him. Lovely fish from the reef edge. Beautiful fish. Really dark snapper. Took that uh, 3.5 inch Biwa Kalitao grub there, right in the corner of mouth, got a little one six jig head. Beautiful dark fish. I'll put him on the measure. I'm thinking he's gotta be 50, maybe a little bit more. Let's have a look. Well, he's bang on 50. <laughs> so it's pretty much right. That really is a nice fish here, yeah, dark. Beautiful and dark that fish is, um, yeah. I told myself today I wasn't gonna keep any fish, but it's pretty hard to let that go. 50 centimeter snapper from the reef edge. If you're gonna keep one to eat, that's probably about as good as they get eating wise. So, got some ice there, gonna pop them on and have them for dinner tomorrow night. All right, he's on ice. Cool. Let's do that again. This is really bringing back some memories of my younger days fishing the bay. Fishing the reef edge for snapper was uh, number one thing to go and do, to be honest. Oh, there's another fish, but I dropped it. Really used to fish well a long time ago. And it, went, it went a bit quiet. I think it might have got overfished a little bit. And it's good to see it's come back a bit. So I'm just using a 3000 size, well, an old school 3000 size spin reel. So it's like a 5000 now. So don't have to go this big, go a bit smaller spin reel. Three six kilo rod. Um, I think I've got P. 1.2 there with some 12 pound leader. You, you want to keep it pretty light. You go too much heavier than 12 and you really struggle to get bites. Early in the morning, late, very late, low light, you can probably go 16 or 20. Um, but yeah, the, the lighter you go, the more bites you're going to get. Sometimes you really need to go down to about a, a six or an eight pound leader to get bites off these, these fish because the water gets quite clear and they're heavily fished as well. So. Oh yeah, for a little bit longer, uh, as much fun it is, as it is to catch these reef edge fish, because it's sort of like, you know, game on when you hook up. My ego wants me to go chase something a bit bigger. So I'm kind of kind of thinking about going chasing you. I think I've plenty of time here. It's just after the three o'clock, it's about 20 past three. So I've probably got two hours left of fishing or a little bit less than that. So. I'll probably keep this going another uh, 10 minutes maybe to see how I go. If I stop getting bites, I might move on. Probably should have kept those sweet lip now. If I get another sweet lip now, I'll keep it. So I get another 30 plus centimeter sweet lip, I'll keep that. 
car a bit further towards the danger zone. The reef can contour around, it like bends in, in certain places. There's a spot a bit further down where it goes into a real hook and uh, that can be a really good spot. The beauty these days, you've got the maps that can show you exactly where those hooks are. Got the wind and tide blo blowing, both blowing in the same direction, which is really good for a drift along here. Just enough with the wind and drift, uh, the current to keep me moving along without going too fast. Not an overly big tide today, we're leading up towards a full moon, so it's like probably uh, we're at Tuesday today, I think it might be the weekend or a bit later on the full. I like to keep this lure moving, set on the bottom, give it wind and hop 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 just give it here we go it really wakes those fish up in the grab in it keep my rod high for the first little bit of the fight keep the fish's head up oh another nice sweet lip this one oh yeah that's the biggest sweetie of the day this one Beautiful, beautiful sweet lip, that fish. All right, I'm having a fat old time, old school fishing. Beautiful grass sweet lip or grass emperor, whatever you want to call them. He's got to be uh, pushing 34, 30, 35 centimeters, I think, this fish. So 30 centimeters is illegal, so he's well over that that legal size. Again on that three and a half inch grub, that's really doing the damage along here with that one six jig head. Perfect, perfect size for um, reef edges and a little bit deeper this 3.5. All right, let's pop him on the measure and see what he goes. He's gonna add to the dinner I feed, I think. All right, it's a quality, quality squat, uh, sweet lip, that one. He's, he's, uh, he's 37 and a half centimeters long. That's a really nice sweet lip, that one. So, brain spike him. Cut his throat on ice. Snapper, squire, beautiful. All right, keep working it. Again, letting that lure sink the bottom. And that hop, 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 wind, retrieve. Gets that lure really darting. And if anything, sitting there looking, kind of forces them into that decision of eating it. As the light gets lower, it's getting harder for me to see the, the reef edge. So hopefully though, as the light gets lower, these fish generally tend to come out a bit wider, off the reef a little bit. So you can probably get, out, get off it a little bit more. Fishing a little bit, bit more open country. Oh, there's another fish. Yep. Oh, get him out. <laughs> oh, this is great fun. What do we got here, Squire? He's not overly big. Swing him in. Oh. Okay. Probably a just legal fish. Pop him back in. <laughs> This is a really consistent session now. It's uh, really fired up. Last little bit. Just drifting, I'm, I'm just covering ground as if I'm sitting in the one spot fishing the, the same area. I'm just keep drifting along. 
catch a good fish there, I'll spot lock up for a minute to let it go. Feels like my tail's caught, I don't know. Now I'm starting to lose that ability to really see the reef edge now, so. Sometimes just a burn as well. Burn and pop, drop. But I like the, the wine and hopping. Gets it, get it gets going up along. You see any bait movement at all? Definitely cast into it. Sometimes it's just the pike chasing the bait, but that many good snapper I've caught, just seeing a bit of disturbance on the surface casting a soft plastic and uh, before you get to the bottom off off your line goes just peels off and you know a good good snap has grabbed it oh it's going to be hard to leave this but i think i'm going to that wind's getting a little bit stronger i can feel in my back Still only about six or seven knots to the tops. Got a lot of an arvo session. It's uh, just, you know, nice and warm. I haven't put a jumper on or anything. It's just been fantastic. You know, if I was out here at, at sort of six o'clock this morning, it would have been you know, six or seven degrees and nine knots from the from the southwest, which is choppy and just uh, not, not nice to be out here in that. <laughs> Watch him come after that, the old pike. That's a pretty decent sized pike. That's a... Oh god. Slippery, slimy, they bite you off. There's not much to like about the old pike. They stink as well, so yeah, they're up there on the, the I hate that fish list. All right, on that note, it might be time to go. Uh, I'm out of here. What a great refed session.